Ladies and gentlemen, I take pride in introducing the greatest show on earth. Welcome to the Uncle Floyd Show podcast, starring Uncle Floyd. I'm Scott Gordon, and I'm your host for this episode of the Uncle Floyd Show podcast. And now, here he is, Uncle Floyd. This is our podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Episode number one. Episode number one, but I don't know why Scott Gordon is dressed up in a tuxedo, a, a black top hat, white gloves and a cane. What in the world are you dressed up for? Hey, this is this this is the beginning. This is the start. This no, is no, the no, premiere. No. I heard you say to somebody in the hallway, "It's the podcast tonight." No, it's, it's not, not the po- podcast. Not podcast. It's with, with, podcast. Podcast. But it sounded like pot with um roast beef or something. Pot roast. No, no. Pot roast. Pot roast was something else altogether. All right. You know what we should do? What? We should start off by letting people know who we are. I'm you Uncle can start. Floyd. Yeah. Scott Gordon's friend. And we're here every now. It's a new thing starting podcasting. Everybody keeps saying to me, when are you going to podcast? When are you going to podcast? Well, here we are. It's your chance to call in and talk about anything you want on the Uncle Floyd show. You got the phone number, Scott, or is there a phone number? No there is phone no num- phone number. There is no phone number. There, it's email. They're going, to, they're going to send it in by email. All you have to do is write to ufpodcast at s g e dash inc dot com so who is uncle floyd anyway nobody knows he's a mystery man he's a mystery man he's me i came from circus and carnival world and i'm happy to be here with scott gordon now almost 50 years and we had we had a tv show for a while oh we did right for 40 years for almost 40 years what a silly name uncle floyd show yeah well it was a silly show so it made sense it made absolute sense. And Scott's been with the show almost 50 years. Yeah. You're in your 50th year already. We got a very important question from Rob Novick. Okay, go ahead. Rob He's a smart Novick, man. Rob, he wants to know, this is very important. What's the deal with that thing that hangs on the roof of your mouth after eating a hot pizza? A pizza burn. Is that a pizza burn? Yep. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. It doesn't what? hang on my mouth because I eat it so fast. You don't wait till it cools. No, who waits for anything anymore? Somebody wanted to know how you met me. On the unemployment line. No. In Bergen County. That, that's you tell them the that's, story, that's, Scott. That's, that's close to true. Tell I was at, the story. I was at a picnic, and a guy came up to me on the picnic and talk, was talking to me. We are both interested in magic. And he said to me, uh, hey, I'm on this TV show. Why don't you come down sometime? So, right. So I, his name was uh, Al Cavallero. I remember him. He was also known as Professor Linguini. Right. And uh, here, he, here, take this. Go he, ahead. He had me go down to the studio. Right. And you came down. I came down. We got along great. Right away, we hit it off. We had both common tr- uh, backgrounds in show business. Yes. We were actors. We were actors. We knew what we were doing. I wanted to be a Chekhov actor for Chekhov plays, the great Russian dramatist. And comedy writer. Yeah, well, they, they, the said that, they said that to me. Here, check off what you want to do. You said right. to me, can you do a sketch? I said, sure. He said, you said, next week, bring a costume. I said, what do you want? He said, anything you want. So I brought down a costume, and we did a sketch. And the fact, actor. Sir God. The actor. Was, whatever. Sir, Sir, uh, Sir John Watercress. Right. Shakespearean actor. And it went over good. And we've been together ever since. And that was October 12th, 1976. Perfect. So that's, that's good. That's how long we've been doing this. What did you think of me when you first met me? I thought you were funny. I thought you were funny and very talented. Where well, you played the piano and everything else, I really enjoyed that. Funny and very talented. Funny and very talented. Absolutely. And uh, who's this? Who's this? Coming in. It's this guy. 
Oh, is it really? Yes. Thank God we needed you for a while. Yes. No, we're okay now. It was a long trip coming up from... You okay? Uh, By the way, you're on, you're on the podcast with us right now. We're recording it right this minute. Oh, right. Wonderful, wonderful. So introduce yourself to the people out there. Jerry Muratori. And, How long have uh, you been with the show now? <laughs> I'm one, uh, I was hoping I would be able to get here to visit with Floyd. Yeah, well, you're here. Floyd's here. I'm here. And, this uh, is Scott Gordon, by the way. I think he knows me. Yes. yes. <laughs> I think he knows me by Jerry's now. Jerry's a good guy. He, he took sure care is. of me when I was in the hospital for, for three, four months. Yeah, well, move a, move a few things so Jerry can sit down. Anything you want to talk about in particular, Jerry? Not at the moment. Okay, well, we'll begin then. Okay, you got, Go ahead, you got some Scott, from Mar- Marion Sadowski. Yeah. How did you discover or learn all the wonderful classic songs you play and sing? I love music. It's as easy as that. I collect old records, and when I hear one I like, you know. And um, one of the things about the TV show is we were syndicated for a while. Right. And uh, in several markets, we were on after Saturday Night Live. Right. On Saturday night. So uh, Johnny Gork wants to know how many syndicated shows were there after Johnny Carson on NBC. 68. There were 68 shows. Or 70. 68 or 70. We had a lot of fun doing it. He's been on a few, too. Yeah, there were also 26-hour shows that were on after Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. Vincent Vigorita wants to know, was the Uncle Floyd show ever taped in Pompton Lakes? Yes. 1976. Five and six. Actually, that's not from Vincent. That's from Matthew Vigorita. That's from 1975 and six we were taped at... at uh, yeah, we had a lot. We had a lot of interesting people on the show. My sponsors were Dutchie's Pet Shop. I forget the other sponsors at the time. Well, there was a cake sponsor, wasn't there? Yeah, win a cake from uh, Shearer's Bakery, Pompton Lakes Bakery. That was a lot of fun. That show, I remember. Very loose. Very loose. Fred Velez from Mountain Pennsylvania wants to know what your favorite song is to perform. Uh, September in the Rain. Excellent song. Excellent. What's your favorite version of that song? Nobody knows her anymore. Who? Miss Maxwell. Maxwell. I'm going to have to look that up and listen to it. I think that would be fun to do. For who? For you? For me, yeah. Not for the audience. Yeah. Stephen Hanneman says, uh, he says, could you talk about some of the venues you played on Long Island? I might remember where I saw you if I hear the name. <laughs> you were at, uh, what's the place, Epi Epstein's place? It's my father's place. My father's place. Right. Many times. We were at the, uh, some sort of ballroom, began with a C. I don't remember. It was a big house. Very large house. We're, and we were at a couple of clubs. Oh, yeah, we were all over Long Island. Yeah, we were, we were at one club where uh, our opening act was the Good Rats. Yeah, uh, Pepe Machero. It was, they, were, they were a lot of fun, those guys. They were on a TV show once. That's all? That's it. They were just on the show once. And for some reason, the executives didn't want them back again. Hmm. And I have no idea why. Probably they were fooling around in the hallway. It's entirely possible. Anything you want to call about and ask, you can ask us. Nobody knows the show better than me and Scott. No, there is no phone number. Oh, they don't call us. They don't call they us. They, send, send, us an, they send us an email. Which is how? The email is ufpodcast at sge-inc.com. Anybody who's listening to this will know exactly what that means. I know you're looking at me like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> So any of these questions I ask, you know... Are if, of interest to you, call us. I mean, send us e pass, whatever the word is. An email. Send us an email. The reason I mentioned about the Good Rats is uh, Bill Perlmutter wanted to know about that, why they were only on the show once. Good. So we answered Bill's question as well. And How many fan mail did Jerry Moratori get, our newest cast member? Yes. Did he get 500 at least? Yes. What? what you Did anybody me? recognize you yet from this show? Yes, I do. I 
My children have been uh, watching you from uh, the 70s. Oh. And my oldest is, uh, and my nephew is 62. Was this some form of punishment? Yes. You're going to be good tonight, or you're going to have to watch Uncle Floyd. I would love to watch Uncle Floyd with you. Well, we tried the other week, but it didn't work out. But ah, uh, where where did we try? Here. Oh, okay. Well, you got to. I do want it. to do a show where there's no audio; it's just us talking about what's going on. That'll be good. Well, if if we're talking about it, there has to be audio. There has to be audio if we're talking about it. Right. So, what does that mean? Don't you have a button to press for that? Nope. It's all running by itself. Got something from Susie Tannenbaum, him. Oh, wow, again? She, she wrote last week. Yeah, she did. She's great. She loves the show, and she's smart, intelligent, and attractive. And she, she's asking uh, a couple of interesting questions here. She always does. Go ahead. What does she got? And she wanted, she wanted to know, again, how the Uncle Floyd show, the TV show, got started. Through me, through my efforts. I know through your I efforts. I brought but, the money into the station. But the situation for the beginning of it, why did it start? Because I needed a job. So I made my own. I paid my way, as my cousin Johnny would say. You well, paid for your job. There was one specific, uh, specific thing that happened that made you de decide to come the off the road. Ration? The gas crash? The gas crisis. That's exactly right. Nixon said we run out of gas. Everybody has to come home. So you came off the road. I left the circus and came to West Orange, New Jersey. You walked into the station and said... I want to have a TV show. They said, fine, you start Monday. I <laughs> says, I do. Okay, let's get together here. Who pays me? They said, the producer will pay you. I says, who's that? She said, you are. I pay myself to do the show? Yep. And that was the beginning of selling airtime. And that's how you found out you were a great salesman. I'm a better salesman than I am entertainer. Sales is what kept the show on the air all these years. Exactly, because it's show business. It's all about the money. I know. Like, like, need every, to have. like everything else. And Susie also wants to know, other than Oogie, which were your favorite puppet characters on the show? Oh, God, that's a tough one to answer. Oogie, of course, was the most popular. I always liked Mr. Jones. He reminded me of my Uncle yeah, Vic. Yeah, Mr. Jones was popular. He reminded me of my Uncle Vic. I knew him. A little too much drinking. Uh, little, little, little isn't the word for it. <laughs> All right, so we just want to remind people that on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, every Tuesday on stageit.com, we have, this was the Uncle Floyd Show, which is clips of the old TV show we've been talking about. And you can come on, come in there and uh, watch the old shows. Every Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night. At so how 8, many weeks at 8 have you been this? We're up to week 182 now. Boy, time goes, huh? It goes fast. It goes fast. We go back as far as 19, 1979. On that. Okay. With that. This was the Uncle Floyd this show. This was the Uncle Floyd show. With the whole cast is in that. And I host it live. All right. Good. I host it live, and you can come in and watch some old clips with me. We'll talk about them and uh, have some fun. Anything else you want to say to the people? But thank you all for your kindness while I was in the hospital. I don't talk about my medical problems to people because everybody has medical problems. Everybody out there is listening to forget their medical problems, maybe. Everybody's listening to move on and, and get better, whatever they have, ailments. And it's just going to be a matter of time before you're back in full, full swing here. I could play the piano. That's one good thing the stroke didn't take out of me. Hey, join us again next time for the Uncle Floyd podcast. You're going to make some promos about this with your voice. I'll pay you what you're worth. I don't work that cheap. Join us again next time for the Uncle Floyd podcast, episode two, coming to this pod app soon. This program was produced in the studios of Scott Gordon Enterprises, Incorporated in Paramus, New Jersey.